Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week I've printed a lovely little threaded container. Let's take a closer look. So as always with Twip, we'll start by taking... So as always with Twip, let's start by taking... No, something's definitely not right. What is it? I don't... I've got... The the camera sorted, I've got the microphone sorted. Something's definitely not right. No, I'm not sure what it is, so I think I'll just have to carry on regardless. What could it possibly be? Oh well, let's just do the video anyway. So as always with TWIP, first let's take a look at the model. Uh, this is called a threaded container on Thingiverse, made by Engineering Athletics. It's a lovely little container with these sort of knurled parts around the bottom, a rounded thread, and a nice internal cavity for placing things like dice. As I just showed you, I'm using mine to store dice, and it also means that I have a nice place to roll them, because these are metallic dice. If you roll them straight onto someone else's tabletop, they tend to just damage things because they're sharp and pointy. But with this, I can put in the dice I want to roll, shake it around a bit, pour it out, and ta-da! A couple of quick notes about the design. The thickness is quite thin, so it'd be, it'd be nice if it was a little bit thicker, and maybe that's a mod I could make myself, but it just feels a little thin, which is, I mean, it's strong enough, so it's probably thick enough in reality, but it just feels thin, strangely. Also, the fact that it's knurled is obviously really nice for tightening it and it makes it very tactile. It's nice to feel, kind of feel and hold, but it does make it take a very long time to print because as it does all these little jagged points, it moves quite slowly around the uh, circumference and then it goes around each kind of uh, point and has to dot in the middle with a tiny little bit of plastic and it takes forever to go around that. So. I think for me, it would be preferable to have maybe like a wavy pattern on the outside that can be printed a little bit quicker, a little bit easier, and it would still provide you a sort of nice exterior one that you could tighten down fairly nicely. The printer that I used to print this was the Prusa i3 Mark III. Yes, again. But it's done a very nice job. You don't really notice any inconsistent extrusion because of the detail in the knurling. There are a couple of sort of inconsistencies, like sort of little lumps on the inside. I think people generally call them zits just like strange deposits, deposits of plastic. But other than that, I mean, it's done a really, really nice job. The top and bottom layers look basically perfect. And it makes, because of that very similar effect between the top and the bottom, it makes it very unclear which way up it is until you start turning and you see which side is connected to the middle. The filament that I've used to print this is Filamentips Recycled PLA in, obviously, white. It is a proper white as well. A lot of whites that you get are sort of off-white or nearly white or slightly grey. But this is a, an actual white white. It's really, compared to paper, I mean, this looks slightly creamy compared to paper, but this is sort of unnaturally white, probably like overly bleached. This is a nice, nice white. Don't be fooled into thinking that because it's recycled, it's not very good filament. It's quite the opposite. In fact, if somebody gave you this roll of filament and another roll of filament and told you to test them and see which one you thought was recycled, I'm pretty certain you would have literally no idea. In fact, you might even think this one's not recycled because the quality is really very good. So that's it for this episode of TWIP. Don't forget to leave your comments in the section below about suggestions for what you think I should print next. Remember, it can be something you've designed, something you found, or really anything, as long as it's functional. Because that's the whole point of TWIP. Links for the model, the printer, and the filament will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram for some behind the scenes and fun things like that. And I will see you in the next one. 